Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. Now today I've got the other Ace Tanker um, badge that I said in the first video on the Pershing... What? Here's the replay of my Ace Tanker, my second Ace Tanker badge in the Pershing which I mentioned in the first Ace Tanker badge video. That didn't make any sense whatsoever but this is a game in the Pershing the M26 Pershing, it is an American, um, I'll get there in a minute, American tier 8 medium tank, um, it's a really, really nice tank, I really, really do enjoy it, uh, all you need to know about it is it's got a great gun, and then everything else about it is good, but not great, but not bad, it's, it's so good, uh, we're on the Sand River map here, it's a 58% chance to win, make that 59, and, um, I'm platooned up with Tom and his T44, and um, I was going to sit up there with a the bulldog, and then Tom just went, nah, we've lost so much tonight, I really can't be bothered, Just let's just go for it. And that ended up being one of the smartest decisions we made all night, because WZ misses, me and Tom pull off some great, 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 great teamwork here, this is one of the best games we've probably played together. Unfortunately, I bounce off the I-6, but he bounces off me, so no problem. 5120 misses me. I put a shot into him. Tom puts a shot into him. I put another shot into him. So me and Tom here were focus, focus firing things, so I said here, focus on the WZ. And you can see here, I'm using my, the Pershing's very strong turret turret armor really really effectively SWZ is going to rush and we think if he rushes then that's going to give his whole team like the balls to rush with him let's blow his tracks off and just hold him in place I bounce another shot from the IS-6 there finish off the WZ so we've already picked up 1800 damage just over 1800 damage I killed the 5120, and that's the first damage I took all game from the IS-6, 341. I don't know where he hit me, but I don't really care, because we've taken out two very, very important tanks, and only took one shot for it. I blow the tracks of the IS-6 here, managed to blow it off the, them off again, and you can see that I was just a little bit too far up the hill, and the Waffle Traeger Alf Panzerfia managed to get a shot into my side, which meant I lost another load of health, which I did not want to lose. I just have a quick look at him, but I realise he's got 1390 problems, so I don't need to worry about him. And me and Tom pushing up and being the spearhead of this attack has meant that the whole of the rest of the team has pushed up, and we're now pushing up really aggressive against all of these tier 8 heavy tanks. Shooting down onto the upper plate of the IS 6 like that is no problem, it's only 100mm thick. I go for the cupolas, I hit the roof and somehow it ricochets. I don't know. This time, side of the turret. Put a nice, whopping great 90mm hole in the side of his turret. This time I go for the cupolas again, somehow it bounces again. Which is unfortunate. He turned his turret just a little bit, a little bit further. Uh, further than I'd like there, which meant it bounced. And it's at this point that Tom just goes, right, I'm just going in, and I was just like, fine, I'm with you all the way. So we focus fire the lever. So, how does that even miss? I take a hit from the IS-6 in the process. I load a premium shell here, because I need to make sure I penetrate that. And then Tom comes around, doesn't get the kill, but would have killed him anyway. Unfortunately there, I took... Uh, a shot to my engine, so my engine was re well, really damaged. There's no state of damage. It was just damaged. I didn't realise at this point, but I forgot to load regular AP again, so I'm sorry for this. But, you know, you forget sometimes. So, shooting premium rounds here into a Tiger 2. That's 2, and he is getting absolutely swarmed. And then I just decide I think I'm not going to start running after things because I've got shots at an IS-6. And this, after the first couple of shots here, I think, oh, that was quite a nice penetration. And 
and then I do it the second time from a slightly like worse angle and I thought it'd bounce and I thought oh shit I'm firing gold <laughs> And I still don't switch because I think an IS six at five hundred meters, um, we might have problems planning him. So I just stay with the premium. I don't know why I fired that shell. That was just a waste of credits. There's no way that was gonna hit a um, pen. That one was unlucky. I think that hit the wreck of the T twenty nine. Just that one went slightly to the left and hit his very well angled side armor. And that's pretty much all I've done this game. I don't think I managed to pick up the kill on the IS-6 because at this kind of range, even though the Pershing's gun is fairly accurate, it's still, oh, it's still very, very, like, well, it's very, very hard to hit shells from 600 meters almost. And yeah, there we go. So that was another ace tanker in the Pershing. I think that one shows off a lot better what the Pershing can do. It was a much better use of DPM and the turret armor um, to show you actually what the Pershing can do because the last game was more me camping and just taking opportunistic shots at um, vehicles whereas this game I was using the Pershing how it's meant to be played. So yeah, um, that was 4,280 damage, 2 kills and I'll speak to you in the post game stats I reckon. If they work, fingers crossed. If not, you're going to get a cut back to me going, oh, well, I'm sorry, but the post-game stats didn't work, so. So, yeah, right, hopefully, here come the post-game stats. So, there we go, guys. That was the M26 Pershing on the Sand River Map. Uh, River Map? River Map. Um, in that game, we survived. We managed to pick up 4,280 damage. Not that much assisted damage, but we played a very, very important role as it was. Picking up our Ace Tanker Mastery Badge and a High Calibre Medal, as well as some crew experience mission thing at the time. It was 1965 XP, 1310 base, um, and 2 kills. Again, 4280 damage. Uh, Tom also did quite a lot of that game, 2000, which is still pretty respectable in a tier 8 medium. Well, it's alright in a tier 8 medium. But 975 base XP for him. And there we go. There's 29 shots fired, 25 hit, 19 penetrated. We blocked 1100 with our turret. And yeah. So we made a bit of a loss, but that's because we fired quite a lot of premium rounds. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time.